This morning, an update from our unsolved unit may have one family one step closer to closure. A man found dead on a Galveston County beach three years ago has now been identified. A DNA lab in the woodlands called Othram identified him as 24 year old Calvin Mbabo. He was an exchange student from Tanzania. And he was found on the beach on Mother's Day in 2020. Reporter Courtney Fisher takes a look back on how this case all began. It's a story you'll see only on 13. It was Mother's Day 2020. Not a cloud in the sky. Look at those crime scene photos. It had started out as the perfect beach day anyway. Where did this individual come from? Officer Danny Simpson was one of the first on scene. It was just a gentleman, water, sand. We didn't know anything. The dark-skinned man had no ID. On his body, these Calvin Klein briefs and black swim trunks. The evidence photos never shared publicly until now. Perhaps the most telling detail of all were the size 11 Under Armour slides strapped to his hands. He had been swimming and maybe tried to use those as a flotation device. Almost someone trying to stay alive, someone to get to shore. That's what I would believe, yes ma'am. An autopsy later revealed that the man had likely drowned. He was in his 20s, about 5'5", five five, but who was he? The current likely brought him in from the direction of the Bolivar Peninsula, according to the U.S. Coast Guard. Detective Simpson thought he'd eventually get a call from someone looking for this man. Nothing. Months passed, the case went cold, and then the phone rang. This possibly could help me solve this case. It was a scientist from Althrum, the private genetic testing lab in the woodlands, saying they could build a DNA profile for this John Doe using their technology. Simpson figured it was worth a shot. Althrum posted a case on its crowdfunding website. They'd need $5,000 to do the testing. Over the past year, people from all over the country donated. And now I know for a fact that we will know within within a few weeks here we will have a profile for this man's DNA. In Galveston, I'm Courtney Fisher, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. In fact, it took nearly a year from Wombo to be identified. The Altrum CEO says they could not solve this case with genealogy, but instead had to use hundreds of thousands of genetic markers to do a fine biographical analysis. Courtney Fisher will be speaking with the Altrum CEO on Monday to learn more about how this case was solved.